Southeast Asia's major economies showed a strong economic rebound. Led by the Philippines and Singapore, growing 7.7% and 6.1% respectively in the final quarter of 2021. The region, stand against the economic adversities brought by Delta, and Omicron variant. Indonesia continues to expand its economy, by growing 5.2% in the fourth quarter last year, after the modest growth of 3.5% in third quarter. While countries whose economies contracted in the third quarter, emerged strong in the fourth quarter. Thailand's economy returned to growth in the fourth quarter, expanding 1.9% compared to 0.3% contraction in third quarter. Rebounding more quickly than expected, due to robust exports and a recovery in domestic activity following an easing coronavirus curve, and as borders reopened to foreign visitors. Malaysia's economy rebounded 3.6% in the fourth quarter of 2021, an economic recovery from a deep contraction by 4.5% in the third quarter. Economic performance in fourth quarter of 2021, primarily driven by the manufacturing, services, agriculture sectors, and by higher external demand. Vietnam's economy expanded by 5.2% year-on-year in the fourth quarter last year, reversing the 6.02% contraction in the third quarter, supported by growth in the industry and construction segment. On a yearly basis, all major economies in the region posted a positive growth in 2021, leveraging the economic reversals in the first and third quarter last year. Still, Singapore and the Philippines take the lead by expanding its economies with 7.6% and 5.6% respectively on a yearly basis. It was followed by Indonesia, growing by 3.69%. Malaysia, 3.1%. While Vietnam and Thailand, managed to expand its economies in modest rate of 2.58% and 1.6% respectively, leveraging the economic outfall in the first and third quarter. Philippines' annual performance, beat the adjusted target range of 5% to 5.5%. It's better than expected fourth quarter performance, marks a rebound from the 8.3% contraction in the same period of 2020. And represents a faster expansion from the revised 6.9% growth, in the third quarter of 2021. Philippines expected to return its pre-pandemic economic size, earlier this year. Singapore annual performance, beat the revised estimate of 7%, by growing 7.6% for the whole year of 2021, slightly higher than the 7.2% growth in the government's advance estimate. Its pre-pandemic economic size regained last quarter. On the other hand, Malaysia has fallen short, after growing a modest rate of 3.1%, well below the initial official projection of up to 7.5%. Overall, Malaysia's economic performance in 2021 revealed a recovery momentum compared to a decline of 5.6% in 2020. The total economy in all sectors remained smaller than in 2019, except for manufacturing. Malaysia is expected to regain its pre-pandemic size on the second quarter this year. Beside of the lowly growth, Thailand annual performance, beat the revised economic growth estimate of 0.8%. The forecast is that the value of the Thai economy or its gross domestic product, GDP, is forecast to reach its 2019 level in 2023, one of the slowest in Southeast Asia. The numbers from the General Statistics Office of Vietnam, confirm the country has fallen short of its 6.5% growth target for the year, with consumer spending declining sharply amid prolonged COVID-19 curbs on movement even as exports remain solid. Indonesia was not able to fulfill its expected growth rate last year, which ranges from 4.5 to 5%, after only growing 3.69% full year in 2021. 
Indonesia regained its pre-pandemic economic size last quarter. Southeast Asia's economic outlook for 2022 remains upbeat, following the 2021's relatively muted rebound. GDP growth in the majority of countries in the region should accelerate this year, as higher household spending boosts domestic activity, and continued foreign demand bolsters exports. Moreover, advancing vaccination campaigns bode well for activity. The Philippines is aiming to achieve GDP growth rates of 7% to 9% for 2022, and 6% to 7% for both 2023 and 2024. Banking on an accelerated vaccination drive to allow the economy to reopen further. Vietnam's economic recovery is likely to accelerate in 2022 as GDP growth is expected to rise to 5.5%. While Standard Chartered Bank forecasts the country's economy will grow by 6.7%. The bank raised its 2023 growth forecast for Vietnam to 7%, as it believes Vietnam's positive medium-term outlook remains intact. Bank Negara Malaysia, reiterated that the Malaysian economy will expand between 5.5% and 6.5% this year, underpinned by continued expansion in global demand and higher private sector expenditure. While World Bank expects Indonesia's economy to grow by 5.2% this year, and 5.3% to 5.9% next year. Singapore maintained its forecast for the economy to expand 3-5% to this year, as the city-state's recovery from the pandemic slump continues, although officials flagged downside risks to global growth and rising inflationary pressures and Thailand economic growth is expected to be 3 to 3.5 percent, one of the slowest in Southeast Asia since tourism industry continues to deteriorate. Goldman Sachs expect Vietnam to grow by 9.5 percent, while cut its 2022 GDP growth projection for the Philippines to 7.1 percent from 7.3 percent previously. Vietnam and Philippines, were expected by Goldman Sachs to exceed Malaysia's 6.5%, Indonesia's 5.1%, Singapore's 5%, and Thailand's 3.4%. According to preliminary data, regional inflation rose to 2.9% in January from 2.6% in December. Increasing price pressures in Indonesia, Thailand and Vietnam outweighed lower inflation in the Philippines. This year, regional inflation is set to rise relative to 2021's level, as consumer spending strengthens and monetary policies remain loose.